Okay, so here is hopefully a quick demo. So this is uh, SolidWorks Model Mania. They're just some pretty simple practice parts. So uh, as you can see, most of this part we can we can make that pretty much all from one sketch. So I'll click on this. Now after adding these tangents, so it's up here, click T, it's the shortcut, T, 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 and T. I can pick all three of these, oops, missed, and I'll go equal, and then now I can just dimension one of them, that should be 80, type in 80. Why is this one not? Oh, I forgot a tangent here. Okay. T. There we go. Now it's fully defined. So I could. Um, okay, there's actually the 3 millimeter offset, but let me add that in super quick. Actually, I'll, I'll just ignore that for now. Let's say I could build everything I need to off of this. Now, in, you know, in other CAD packages, I could just pick all these profiles. Okay, so I have the same exact sketch here in Fusion 360. You can see I am selecting profiles. This is like an actual um, area. It's a 2D flat area that I'm picking, not lines or not arcs. So I'll pick these ones and, you know, okay, so there's four selections and I want that to be three millimeters, so I'll type in three, enter, and then I want this sketch still, so let me rotate around to the bottom and do another extrude, and this time I just want these boss features. So this should be 20, I don't want that to be a cut, I want that to be a join. So there we go, and then obviously I don't have those kind of offset three millimeter walls in there. But honestly, I mean, those are super easy to add. So I can literally just add them in right now. I just want an offset, three, enter, offset, three, enter, offset, three. And unlike FreeCAD, I don't even have to worry about these, whether or not they overlap, which is kind of nice. It allows you to be a little lazy so you can see, so I just want this trunk, I want this trunk, and this trunk right here. I want that to be 12. Once again, it defaults to cut. I want join. And, and you see that I, I can just pick these profiles, these, these areas, because it's an enclosed area, and the CAD system acknowledges, it recognizes that that is an enclosed area. So it allows you to click it. FreeCAD does not have that currently. So just like that, you know, just in this two minutes, basically that's what took, you know, 10 or 15 in FreeCAD. So this is kind of what you're up against. So it's not gonna be this simple, but this is what we're trying to do in FreeCAD. If I try to do that here, it's just gonna say wire is not closed, it has no idea what to do. Basically what we need to do is we need to help the system since it is unable to detect these areas, these profiles. So this is just one circle, this is just one circle, and since there's multiple intersections, it cannot you know, distinguish between what parts to extrude or ignore. So basically what we can do is we can use this trim edge. We can also right click um, trim edge. So I can trim that away. I'll trim this portion away and I'll trim this portion away. So now actually I could just extrude this whole, this whole piece right here, but then I would have to create another sketch later on. So that's 
if that's how you want to do it, that's totally fine. And that's sometimes easier. This is just a different way of doing it. But anyways, so what I'm going to do is create a circle by center again. I'll make sure that I am coincident here. And then I will make sure that we are coincident there. Similar here. Coincident, yes. And then lastly, coincident. So I'll escape out of that. And, and we can see everything's still green. Everything's still fully constrained. So what we can do now, we can exit. And we have to make sure to pick the curves before we pick um, the pad command. I don't know why that's how it is, but I was having issues the other way around. So I'll, I'll hold control down. So I want to pick multiple. So I will pick this, select this, make sure I grab the arc, make sure I grab the arc, and lastly, make sure I grab that arc as well. Might as well throw these in as well. So I don't need to do an extra cut extrude or an extra pocket later. So now I will click pad. For the drawing, this needs to be three millimeters. So everything looks like it's doing all right. So we will do that. And now it looks like that sketch is hidden. So I will show that again. I'll rotate it around to the bottom. And once more, I can pick these. And you notice that this is actually, this is three different profiles there and they're not connected, but I can put those all into one command, which is nice. That needs to be 20 millimeters. So we'll enter that. So now comes a little more of a tedious part. I'm just going to hide these solid bodies here and I will go into this sketch. So what I want to add is this part right here, right here where there's a three millimeter offset. So basically I'm going to take this curve, this curve, and this curve or arc, they're all arcs that are 80 millimeters in radius. And I will do an offset. Now I've played around with it a little bit and I can't get the offset tool to work all that well. So all I'm going to do is I will click an arc from center. I will pick the, the same center as before. And I will make it coincident there. Same here. Make sure we get that coincident relationship. Pick that center point. And lastly, coincident. Now, these should be coincident. It looks like they are. So that's good. And there's a couple of different ways of dimensioning these. I will click D for dimension, and I'll pick one of these endpoints and then I'll do three millimeters there. We could also just dimension the actual radius, you know, so it would just be 83. Actually, why don't we just do that? So similar to these actual outer arcs, I will select all of them and I'll say equal and I will make it 83 millimeters. Once again, everything turns green, which is good. We are fully constrained. However, we are not done. So I can click OK, and it doesn't break anything, you see. But if I try to select some of these things, that's, that's not a, a closed wire. So we have these two that are offset, but we need a, we need a third and a fourth um, line. We need a third and a fourth curve to finish out those profiles. So this is a bit silly, but this is kind of what you what you get. This is once again just more limitations. So I'll make sure that these are all coincident, coincident, coincident. So now one more time, I 
I can pick these four and I can do it in separate or I can do it all together similar to those boss features we did in the last pad extrude. So I'll pick those and I'll say pad and we can see that, that is in fact what we wanted. So I can set that to 12 millimeters and now we are we, we have the general shape. We just need some add some fillets but that is everything we needed all in one sketch. Okay, so here we are. This is the Freakhead Link branch, which is just a slightly different version, has some different features. A few things just work differently. And I have the same sketch here, same dimensions and everything, but there is actually just one setting that is in this kind of, you know, pre-development stage here. So if we go down in the property, the data view, we have this option for make internals. That's default, false, and kind of like I was talking about in other CAD systems, generally, you know, you have this selection where you can pick an area, you can pr pick a profile, which, because I mean, essentially it's just a face, if you think about it. So in this FreeCAD link branch, Basically, someone, you know, wrote some code, so now that there's a setting that can recognize that this is a face. So basically, we don't have to go and kind of do all of that extra, um, kind of, you know, having having to go a roundabout way of, of making this part with just the one sketch. So uh, the one thing that I, I did notice is it is still better to highlight what you want to extrude and then click on pad. So like if I click on pad first, you know, you saw it gave me some errors. There's a bunch of errors here. Um, I can still make it work. So you can pick this, pick this. Oops, let's try that again. You can pick this, holding control down and We can make it work, but it just seems, oh, maybe not. Um, anyways, I, I won't waste time with it. it I, I could get it to work earlier. You just have a lot of errors and it seems really confusing. So we will not do that first. And we can just highlight these. So here's the shape that we want. This is the one that we will extrude three millimeters. So we can click pad three. Okay. And now, you know, it, it hides the sketch. So I think it's easier actually if we just close or hide that pad and we'll do the same thing. Let's say we want to extrude this portion. So these three and we want those to be 12. So enter, okay. And then I'll hide this one again, show the sketch, they show together. And then we'll do these three circular uh, bosses. And lastly pad, which we want those to be 20. And, and if you're, uh, oops, I, Mr. Chunk. Need that part as well. Okay, now here we go. I want that to be 20. Okay, so there we go. There's our part. You know, same thing as we got in Fusion, same thing we got in the normal FreeCAD. And yeah, it's just different features with the link branch. Um, so this is something that eventually, you know, we will see hopefully soon in the standard FreeCAD version, but there's just another way of doing it.